Man, what is do YouTube, man? It's a dead job. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me get right. It's your boy, Miss Courtney. We back with another reaction video, man. Look, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be reacting to DDG spending 43k on Yeezy and all type of stuff. All is all type of stuff. He just in the store spinning the bag. Now, I wanted to react to this video because one day, one day I'm gonna be able to do that. One day I'm gonna be able to, and you too, you too, you watching this video. One day, real soon, we're gonna be able to go in the store and just blow 40K on shoes and clothes. We're gonna be able to go in the store and just buy whatever we want to, buy our family stuff, do all of that good stuff, basically just be successful. So my biggest reason for watching this video is for a structural reason for myself, you know what I'm saying? To give me motivation, you know what I'm saying? Cause me looking at stuff like this, the money doesn't motivate me. It's the it's the process and the structure behind it. It's like the the morality behind it, like being able to, you know what I'm saying? Just because I got money now, cause I'm gonna have it. You gonna have it too. We gonna be millionaires. We gonna be successful as hell, you know what I'm saying? But just because I have them means I wanna blow it. It's just the morality behind it. Like if I got this, or when I get this, what I'll be able to do with it, the people I'll be able to help. So that is my reason for watching this video and reacting to this video, man. It's just like a, just a motivational reason, man. And I feel like me reacting to this, I needed it. And if you were adding to me react to this, you needed it too, man. So if you enjoyed this video like I know you will, man, go in and hit that like button, man. Look, we trying to get 4K before Christmas Day. Let's go in and get to it, man. Right now we at 3,930 subs on the dot. Look, I don't look at y'all as subs. I look at y'all as my family. So join the family, man. Don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button, man. It's free. It's free to hit the subscribe button. But yeah, we're going to get right into this thing, man. I ain't going to talk y'all head off because it's early in the morning and my whole week been hectic. But I decided to get a video out because I ain't posted in like eight days almost. So let's get into this thing, man. Let's go. Oh. I like the SVs too. So when you was growing up in, in Pontiac, Michigan, what, what was you wearing? What was the kind of kicks? What stands out in your mind? When I was a kid, I was wearing FUBUs. Wearing what? F yeah, if y'all don't know what FUBU is, <laughs> you too young, bro. Too young. <laughs> FUBUs. FUBUs. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember them. Nah. But I remember them as clothes. FUBU, FUBUs and Shaqs. Shaqs. When I was a kid. Okay. Are you talking about like Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we ain't had money like that. Me hey, my mama... I ain't gonna cap, man. Listen, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap to you. I think I had like one pair of Shaqs in my whole life. I think my auntie bought me some Shaqs and she thought it was some Jordans. She was like, true story. She was like, I found these Jordans at Walmart. Everybody started looking at them. I'm like, and I'm like, Bro, I'm like six, maybe seven years old, and I look at her. You found some Jordans from Walmart. <laughs> I knew something was up. I knew something was like, I, I just knew something was off. And I look at the shoe, and I can't remember the color. They were white and red, so they looked like some threes, some retro threes. I looked at the shoe and he had Shaq on there dunking like this with, with his legs up, like hanging on. Y'all know how he used to dunk and hang on the rim with his legs up. I looked at that shit. I was like, auntie, what is this? <laughs> she said, that's some Jordans. I showed it to my pops. He started laughing. I got some Shaqs. And they was probably like, they was probably like $20. She, but she thought she caught a steal, but that was the first time I had some shacks. And guess what I did with them? I wore them hoes. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bought me I wore some them. fake Jordans. I used to wear those. Some what? fake Jordans. Yeah, man. I grew up in the struggle, man. What number Jordans were they? You remember? They was threes, but they was fake. Fake, fake. Th basically, basically what I just said is some threes. Some fake ass threes. You should kill them new. But they never came out. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I describe them to you, you'd be like, you. They never came out. That's crazy. But as I got a little bit of money, teenager, yeah, I started wearing. I ain't gonna count though, and I'm gonna stop pausing the video so much. He said they never came out. Hey, some shoes don't like counterfeit. I ain't gonna say counterfeit, but like them over the counter. Um, what they call them shoes that they make like off brand, but they make it like they. I mean, they make it and they look just like it. Like it's identical, but it's not the. It doesn't come from the actual. 
retailer um or the or the factory i forgot what they call them but they people make shoes that are sometimes look even better than the one that comes from comes from the manufacturer and they it's just the fact that it's not made in the company it's made outside but i mean if it's made with the same material and actually if the material is better and it's put together better i'd rather take a shoe that was made outside of the factory than a shoe that i'd rather take a 10 out of 10 shoe that was made outside of the factory than take a 7 out of 10 shoe that was made out that was made inside of the factory in the manufacturing and stuff that's just me that's just my personal preference because to me it's quality quality is the biggest thing and like phones and stuff like that, and you know, phone positive. Yeah, like, like phone positives were never big here in the UK. Really? Yeah, because it's not really a basketball country here. So I never... used to be in like a um a Facebook uh, local uh, sneaker trading thing, like a community. So okay, I okay. pull up, I pull up to the mall with my shoes, they yeah. check them out. Give me my little couple hundred dollars, and I my. I was flipping shoes for sure. Yeah. So you was a reseller at one point. Low key, yeah, I was just hustling. Facts, I was too. I was a reseller though. Okay, okay. Gotta get the breads. Gotta get the breads. Need these right here. What a little. Yeah. Are you on Supreme Air Forces? Hey, y'all know. And do not re. I ain't gonna make this a race thing. But don't revoke my black card. Plus, I don't really care. I ain't never in my life on no Power Forces. I said it. Had to get it off my chest. I've never in my life owned a pair of forces. I've never owned one. I've never owned a pair of forces at all. Black, white, red, yellow, green, orange. All them different colors I got. I ain't never owned a pair of forces. Eventually, I will. Because I've been seeing some air forces or supreme air forces like the collabs and off-white air forces on GOAT. Eventually, I will. But I, if I'm going to get some air forces, it's going to have to be like some supreme or some... uh off-white type stuff just because of the colors and the fabric and material and stuff like i'm a very i'm a fashionable type of guy i don't like being super simple unless i'm just i mean let me rephrase that i like being simple but i have like my i just like you know what i'm saying if i'm gonna get something i'm gonna get something you feel what i'm saying thanks gotta get the jerseys need these right here the jerseys for sure what do you mean by that 100 percent I think I might even take these. What? Oh, man, I'm going crazy today. Wait, let me see. Uh, these LVs? Yeah. Oh, that's hard. I didn't even know. Oh, that's crazy. I did not know that. How much they cost? 10 to 12? Jeez. I seen these made by somebody before. <laughs> For 100, 200. I don't know if I'd do that. No, they hard, they hard though. For sure. The 12, I don't know though. These fire. Yeah, I want these. Let me get those, man. How much those? Eight. Eight bands? <laughs> we gonna wait on them. Eight bands? For some shoes, bro. Bro, that's wild. <laughs> cool. So, you have everything? Yeah, I think I'm good. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Earlier, so you're putting that these. Let me see. Not gonna count. The Air Forces gotta have them. How much are these? You got this, don't worry. You got it, it's fine. How much are these before I get them? They're 20k. Alright, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get these two. Give me the Air Max too. That's how I'm feeling today. This is my second time in London. I might as well. Right? Hey, she's a great seller. No cap. She she's good at what she does. Okay, give me give me give me the Air Max too. But just imagine, bro. I th hold on. Nah, I'm gonna say what I gotta say. Just imagine, bro. Going in the store and they shutting the whole store down just for you personally. Just for you personally. Nobody else is in the store but you. They're letting you shop exclusively for you. Having that special treatment to buy whatever you want. And not only buy whatever you want, but having 
more than enough to buy what you want. This man just spent 43K on some Yeezys, Nike Air Max, and some um, retros. Some 11, some threes. What what else he got? Uh, some off white Air Forces. Uh, what else did he have? He had a whole. I, I guess they from the shores right here. That, but that's that's inspiring, bro. Like I'm not a big material person, but she's. He got the. He got the. Hold on. He got the Nike. He got the Nike Air Yeezys too. Spread October's. Don't don't ask you low key hard. I can shout. He got the off-white Nike Air Force Low. Oh, he got them too? No, he got the Nike. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did get the Nike Air Max. Dang, that's crazy. I forgot what they look like. 19,000? Nike Air Max, Back to the Future, 209. Oh, my gosh. Supreme Nike. Yeah, he got Supremes. He got the Air Jordan 11, the bread. He got the what? The not the octane. Is is the uh, are those the Drakes? Are those them Drakes? Uh, the uh Nocta N O C T A, the Nocta shoes. I think I got a shirt. I, I think I got a Nocta shirt. I is is that the Drake collab? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Is that the Drake collab? I think it is. He got the threes. I was gonna get them. Not gonna cap. I was gonna get them threes because we had them. I used to uh, work in the store, but I ain't get them. Though. Got a Yeezy slide. See, it's a lot of shoes we didn't even see he got. 43 euros. 43K. That's crazy. All right, man. Had a great time. And he New only got like, what, soon. seven pair of shoes? By DDG, no cap, tap in. Shout out Kick Game. We out. This Boy, that's crazy, man. Look, if y'all enjoyed that video, y'all let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel, man. Listen. I'm telling y'all, if you watch this video and you made it this far, it's good. Because I'm finna affirm a lot of men. I'm finna affirm some manifestations for y'all. You are great. You are king slash queen. You will be successful. You will be unapologetic. Unapologetic. You will be healthy. Um, and et cetera, et cetera. You you are. You know what I'm saying? So hey. But one thing you got to know, you got to work for it. You got to work for it. You got to work for it. Everything you want in life, you got to work for it. But you also have to believe it 120%. But yeah, man, that's all I had to say right there, man. Like I said, I react to this video to give me a little bit of motivation. Hey, man, get on my grind because we some future millionaires. No cap. You feel me? Like, real soon. So, if you like that video, go ahead and hit the like button, man. I love y'all. Join the MKYT. Family man, join the MK gang. No, join the MKYT gang, the MK family. See, that's what happened when I don't record a long time. You forget my own slogans. But yeah, man, I love y'all. I truly love y'all. And I appreciate all the love and the support. On my last video, um, last video did pretty good, man. And I just want to keep these videos going, man. Getting these views up and just adding people to the family, man. But yeah, it's your boy, Miss Core. And we got this thing.